broadcast live. Let's go. Watch you on one. All right, we out here. Um, surprise single in the wave when everybody's dropping something. Mr. Cash Time. Yes, sir. Says, yo, I got some shit. Yes, sir. It reminds me of um, um, when Nas, uh, was, it, was, it, was it Scarface? When Scarface dropped an album and he featured Nas and Jay-Z um, on the same album. And that's how they went out. Um, so, man, how long have you been holding these tracks and why now when you're dropping it? Why are you dropping it now? It hasn't been long, actually. Um, I've been in the studio all year. Mm. Uh, and these records were created between end of April and May, mm. literally. Um, the last one that we did was with Casper. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I decided to drop now because it's like looking at everything that has been going on in the game, you know, I think there is a lack of what I would call excitement, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, everyone is just doing their own thing, but like everyone is winning individually. Mm -hmm. The whole culture is not looking as good as it used to. Mm -hmm. So this is just like my way of like just trying to bring different worlds together, you know, people who sort of kind of look like they are not on the same level in terms of like just like you know, wavelength wise, mm -hmm. um, I felt like this was one way of trying to make those worlds collide. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, and uh, the music was just like too great for me to just sit back, to sit with it and just like not, and deprive the people, yeah. you know, from yeah. hearing it. So here we are. So the conversation when you having a chat with Caspian AKA saying that you're gonna drop it on the same day, do they know? <laughs> no, of course they do. So what's the conversation like? Um, I think it just comes with the level of respect mm -hmm. that the homies have for what I do. I mean, because mm -hmm. it goes, you know, both ways. I, I also respect them on that level because before the decision, so initially the plan was to come out with uh, the AKA joint first, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, the Casper one is going to follow in July. Mm -hmm. But like the label, after, you know, hearing both records and comparing, they're like, they kind of feel like maybe the Casper record has the the summer feel, mm -hmm. but it won't hurt even if it comes out just a little early. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, and the the, the Keenan record, the AKA record, is as great as it is as well. They also kind of felt like it was a lot more hip hop y. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't as crossover as the other, yeah. other records. So they're like, okay, cool, because it's two separate songs, and uh, it makes sense just for um for us to bundle them together and mm -hmm. put them out as an as an ep mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so that's how it ended up playing out it wasn't really something that i was married to my mm -hmm. initial plan was to come out with the keenan record first and then follow up with mm -hmm. um casper's john so we know next week already touch my blood is dropping yeah. so by default um what we're going to see or what we've been seeing with keenan we've been seeing him like throwing subliminals, you know, mm -hmm. provoking mm -hmm. there um, as it does best. Yeah. Um, I mean, just so it's not like I'm making it up. I follow his timeline. He's got a he's got a line representing Mufasa and another emoticon showing that like he's in trouble. Um, he did some other thing with his song the other time, and um, it feels like there's a wave. And Nasty C also just dropped his album, you know, um, or his album is also on the way. Yeah, yeah. Altito's album's on the way. Yeah. It seems like there's just a wave of um, releases that are coming that are, that are coming out. And I know Quest is also about to drop the Rick Ross single soon. Also, um, is it a is it a thing of like the more there is out there, the more there is conversation? Yeah, because these days, man. I mean, you you know best. Um, we are living in a what have you done for me lately mm. type of market, you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, they heard us SR2, mm. but some people, they're not even playing that. Matter of fact, J. Cole just came out like a month ago 
we're not playing that bro mm. and not because it's not great but mm. we went through it so mm. quick mm. Mm. first few days as soon as it dropped and then now we're looking for the next thing. Mm, you know? We on push up, we on Kanye. Exactly. We, on we probably almost also done with like yeah. with Day I'm yeah. done with Daytona. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. done with Kanye the day it came out. Yeah, yeah. You understand me? So people just like want as much content as possible and I think um, everyone is just like on their toes and <clears throat> feeling like, yeah, I need to make sure that I throw my hat in the ring. Mm. Whatever happens, I need to be in the conversation. Mm. And I'm also just, do, I'm just doing my part as far as that is concerned. Why do you think the game though is at a place, the, the, the hip hop game specifically, is at a place where there's no excitement anymore? Um, I'd say, I mean, it's partly the whole thing of like how we have like augmented ourselves from one another mm. and people are just feeling like um we don't want to well ostracize sorry uh, uh, from one another because we feel like um you know i don't want to be seen with this guy i don't want to be seen with that guy because i'm good and boom 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 you know mm. so that has created this division between us and if you look at the guys the, on the Gorm side, for instance, they came in with an original sound and yet they're moving together, so to speak, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that's just one thing that has like made us, has put us on the back foot. Mm -hmm. um, and with me doing something as bold as this, where I'm putting those two homies together, I mean, some people obviously <clears throat> also felt like maybe there was like this proverbial uh, tension between me and Casper, for instance, you know, uh, based on past events. So them seeing me on the same record as him, and um, when the video comes out as well, just like people are gonna appreciate the synergy between the two of us. Um, I think it's just my way also of trying to diffuse the, the separation from you know, um, like some uh, amongst us as as, as artists and again promote unity and all those things so i think mainly it's just like the division and people playing for self then playing for the culture that's do you think that like um hip-hop literally um started started feeling like it's got it made prematurely um when we when guys were selling making shows versus even when you say home house you know we all know the success of coffee, but Oskito's there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Phonic is there. They're all out there supporting supporting um supporting the brother. Yeah. Um and you can feel that unity, you yeah. know, yeah. um that like that's but do we think do you think that hip hop hasn't even gone there, but we've already isolated or uh, isolated ourselves like I'm the shit here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think we did it too soon? Because when it's when you guys when you were doing Karakara um, I mean, when El Tito was dropping, everybody was for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you think we, we felt ourselves too soon prematurely? Way too soon, bro. Way too soon. I can even tell you now, even as far as shows are concerned, mm. right? There are less are, there are less shows where you'll see like a, that, that, that are like fl flooded with hip hop artists. You're seeing a lot more DJs and maybe like the ladies of Mars and all these other guys. Mm. Um, <clears throat> two years ago, or even a year ago, you'd go to a show and it's just like hip hop artists only, you know, mm. and it's not even a hip hop show mm. type of thing. Mm. So what's going on like right now, it's just like, again, it goes back to people feeling like, actually, what we did, the reason why I was mentioning the shows is what we did as hip hop, we got too arrogant too quick mm. and to a point where we even outpriced ourselves mm. like we priced ourselves out of the market mm. like mm. Dira or um, Oskido is they have a crazy catalog but you'll probably still be, man, be able to pick up a Dira for a show for like 40 stacks or at least negotiate in any case exactly you know mm. or probably sometimes even 20 you know what mm. I mean it depends on who you are mm. Hip hop, hip hop wise, we are like, I don't know, we just got to a point where we felt like, 
you know, we can fill up any other venue and that we kind of felt like the economy that we are operating within was almost on the same scale as America, you know, where people are just like charging crazy numbers, but that, that logically it doesn't make any sense, you know, because you can go to, say for instance, you go to a club and you booked and the club is like uh, 500 capa capacity and you can expect the homies to pay you 120 mm -hmm. because it just doesn't make any, mm -hmm. you know, sense. Yeah, yeah. So it just, that those are some of the things that also kind of put us on the back foot again, where we just like felt like we had arrived way too soon. But like, this is actually a marathon. You know, we got caught up in the hype of the sprint. So we, we still need to be out here for the long haul and do what we need to do. So, I mean, one, we overpriced ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, two, we're obviously, like, we... we there's no unity. We prematurely were arrogant. Yeah, yeah. Three, there's no unity. Yeah. yeah. And four, um, even overpricing ourselves, we don't even own venue events to yeah. kind of go, well, okay, if they're not going to book us, let's do let's this. Let's do our own thing, Because yeah. even the events that we own, we're shooting them down also. Yeah. Yeah, it's so many things that are playing playing against we are our worst enemy you know to to to, to a certain degree but um I, i'm seeing a little bit of humility now you know um even when i have, I have conversations with some of the players everyone is aware of what is going on like the things that i'm mentioning now mm -hmm. everyone is aware not a, you, the guys are not as stupid as we think well we are hip-hop is not as stupid as we might perceive mm -hmm. uh we are all cognizant of the fact that it it's not the same, it's drying up. and the uh, and 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 also the economy as well above. Just like what we're doing within the culture, the economy is not um, convenient enough. The state of the economy is not convenient enough for us to thrive mm. as much as we did. But mm. um, everything starts within the entertainment space, and then it just mushrooms all the way out into um, you know the market. It, we, it, we need to shape, we need to be the, the sources of that excitement um, mm -hmm. as artists and as entertainers and, you know, and, all, and all those things for the people to f feel like they can proudly say that they're South African, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. where the country itself and music and sports and everything is thriving. The, the, the hopes of the country, of the nation, you know, are at the highest. So, like, right now, it, we are not at, at that level, unfortunately. Mm. I mean, and I just want to... It's, it's a simple thing, you know, I mean, we saw the speedster, the Frank Casino, Shane Eagle thing. We, we, yeah, don't, we yeah. don't know, I, I, don't know, I don't know the, the politics, the politics yeah. behind it. Um, but there's, a, there's obviously a new generation of kids who are doing well, yeah. I'm on digital. But um, um, I think also there's, and I can understand they, they, they push back to the older generation. Yeah. Um, because we also did that too, you know, we yeah. pushed back to the older generation. Yeah. Um, but do you, have you realized that like, in a sense, the unit, the disunity has impacted even the younger kids? Of course. Because the younger kids like, but you never look, you never looked out for me. Yeah. I didn't, you always like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So even the younger kids like are now creating their own clique. The older people are like are in their own clique. Yeah. Where I always go, I wish that, like, um, um, I know Shane is doing well in, on, 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 on iTunes, I know Frank is doing well, but I wish that, like, you know, um, there could be a school that goes, so the next step to be, t I know radio don't play, but this is how we go on traditional, this, yeah. you know, we almost, like, need to create those things, but, like, we've cr the, old, the elders have created, like, so much animosity within themselves that, like, or at least division, yeah. that the kids literally, like, they united on their own, and it's, oh yeah, it's like, I ain't gonna listen to my parent when he don't come, when he's also fucking up. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's like, you guys are the OGs, the kids like, look at it, go, but you, why am I gonna listen to them? Yeah. They fucking up too. Yeah. I mean, we just gonna do it our own way, you it's, know? It's a cycle, it's, it's a pattern that, um, unfortunately, has permeated throughout the culture. Um, egos and all those type of things, you know, but I think the more you grow and the more you mature, the more you realize that actually 
certain cases you probably left some money on the table mm. you know what i mean and it's cool i mean we we especially like when you're in your early 20s you know you are radical and disruptive and you want to do things however that you want to do but the more you grow you realize shucks that's that was actually not the good the best way to go about it and then eventually you know your maturity kicks in and you start making a lot more um, inclusive decisions. Mm. So um, let them do their thing, it's, it's, they are allowed. And especially when they are coming on the back of uh, seeing their predecessors doing what they did and they know like, okay, so you guys did that, so we're gonna come in and do things our own way. We don't have to subscribe to how you guys did shit and whatnot, you know? So unfortunately it's a pattern, but with age, everyone smartens up and stuff, so yeah. Mm. Yeah. Look, I mean, we got to give it up to guys like Oscar, who've been in it forever. Yeah, but. Dira, yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Coffee. Yeah. Um, Shimza. You go like, you, and then some of them are new. Yeah. Like, they, they, you'll see them in the same spaces. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, the OGs. And one, thi small. one thing that you can appreciate about those guys as well, they, are they'll sh give you advice on a like pro bono basis mm -hmm. you know they don't mind sharing the ins and outs and you know the tools of like how to maneuver within the music space mm -hmm. they will give that to you for free bro mm -hmm. you know there's no need for us to be you know hogging that because we are depriving not only um ourselves or the people that are around us we are depriving the culture as a whole from uh moving in a progressive fashion you know so yeah, yeah. Hey, yo so um with regards to the singles i just want to get back to that yeah here. yeah um now i think it's going to be an interesting thing you you probably obviously going to be on iTunes number one and yes, number sir. two. Yeah, uh, I mean hopefully, hopefully, yeah, yeah. It's, it's on. You, you know, so with that being said, um, I just want to see how the reaction is going to be from the TVPNs and the Super Megans. Mm -hmm. You know, with regards to what's going to happen. Um, let's project. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, like I said, I mean, like from what I've like just. I don't know, you're gonna give me your take. Yeah. I mean, you've heard the records. Yeah. Um, I, I think the, the, the Casper song, like I said, is just, it's more energy and it's, it, it ticks all the South African boxes. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you don't even have to be like a super hip, like hip hop savvy person for, for, for you to, to understand it. Mm -hmm. So just maybe by default, that has a bigger reach, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe it might end up being at the top. But the other record, the AKA joint, is literally fire as well. Um, just what, like, people just appreciate when they see me and homie on the record, yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. all these, like, fireworks. Yeah. So maybe just on the, ba uh, on the basis of that, you know, that I mean, that of the, just the synergy and the chemistry alone, maybe we might see, that might, I'll play the other joint, but mm, mm. I'm, I don't know, from where I'm sitting and just the talkability, shock value as well, we probably, probably might see the Casper record just doing, moving slightly quicker maybe than the other one, I don't know. So we're going to run a poll, right? We're going to run a poll, um, and we are... We're going to run a poll tomorrow. <laughs> Devil's advocate. You know, we're going to run a poll tomorrow and we're going to see, you know, um, um, is it um, KO featuring Casper, KO featuring AKA. Yeah, we're going to get, get the people talking, you know, and see which, which one is the joint, you know, yeah, what I mean, they're feeling. I guess this is the conversation that unfortunately um, I brought upon myself, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I knew exactly what I was, you know, setting myself up for yeah, yeah. the homies knew exactly yeah, yeah, what yeah. you know was gonna what was was gonna happen. Either way, even if I had split the records, when the Casper record drops, people were gonna be like, okay, cool. So, but this one is probably more fire yeah, yeah, than you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the conversation was always gonna was gonna happen. Hey but man, you delivering it to us. Yeah, you know what I mean. One but, day. But above everything, like these are two crazy records. They yeah, are yeah. both different. Yeah. And I think 
just by you clicking on the link to check out two piece by you maybe going there for the casper record you're gonna have to listen to the to the keenan one yeah, you know yeah, yeah, and yeah. vice versa yeah, you know what i mean yeah. so i mean it's beautiful so why two piece um it was just playing on the fact that it's two records and you I know what i mean yeah, yeah. and um i mean when you look at the artwork for for the ep itself it's a butterfly and the one side is on fire and the other side is normal mm -hmm. you know so it's just like a play on on, on, on that as well, and uh, we also have track suits, by the way. Um, it's kind of a public oh, track yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They come with like it's a it's like jacket and jogger joggers, so two piece. You feel me? Yeah, so exactly. yeah, exactly. yes, sir. Yo, check out Scandal kind of Republic. Where can we get that, by the way? Uh, this is not out yet. You feel oh. me? Yeah. Um, mm. But the track suits are actually um, out right now. You guys can, uh, if you want to place an order simply just send an email to skanda at mrcashtime.com have the have, has aka or casper heard each other's songs no nah, they haven't as a matter of fact because <laughs> i i think they didn't even want to hear them really yeah yeah because they never we just like jammed when i when i was with the homies uh -huh. like they wanted to sh hear their own shit. Yeah. You know, the other homie wanted to hear their, their, his own shit. So we never really entertained on like, okay, cool. So what's going on on the other side? You know, because they know like, I'm not the, I'm not a bitch ass guy where like, fuck around and allow homie to throw shots at the other yeah, homie yeah, or yeah, not. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. gonna happen that way. So um, they're not worried about any of that stuff. So they got, they're, prob they're probably gonna hear the records when they drop just like everyone else. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So uh, pretty much, you know, we're gonna get a poll, you know, um, yeah. if the social media literally talks, then we're gonna look at what's happening on the streaming platforms, you mm -hmm. know, number one, number two, you know. Mm -hmm. Tbibians, are you there? And the Megacy, uh -huh. are you there? Are we, who's number one? Who are you gonna be making number one, you know what I mean? If you are really, really feeling... Um, Wire Wire which, with Casper um, as a Tbibian. Is it yeah. TVPN? Do what you need to do. But you know, you can only speak if you've listened to both of them. Yeah, absolutely. And if you are part of the Magazine, make sure you rally behind your king. Um, and obviously myself. Um, and uh, it's, all, it's, all, it's, it's, it's all happening in this kind of republic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The event is happening in this kind of republic. One time. It is the Megacy. It is the Tibibians. <laughs> it is happening right now. You determine who is the winner. Listen, vote on the poll, and let's see the streaming. And so, it's all happening in this kind of, only in this kind of republic. Nowhere else. One time. Only in this kind of republic. One time. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thanks for coming through, my G. Appreciate it, my nice G. G. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Broadcast live.